she knows we're here now. Last we were in a boat, you had just started the story. What did you want to tell me about the long war? Both sides suffered tremendous losses. And for many of us, quite frankly, war was simply no fun anymore. But a rather senseless waste of precious life. Wouldn't you agree, brother? Mm, precisely. Enough was enough. And at last, Odin's most brilliant advisor became determined to find a more enlightened path. He set about to broker a peace between the gods. Took some convincing, but ultimately Odin was persuaded to marry his deadliest enemy, a certain Vanir goddess, legendary not only for her fertile beauty, but her genius at the very Vanir magic that Odin had long aspired to master. Freya married Odin? What was in it for her? It was a sacrifice to protect her people. A selfless icon. Truly, she deserves better than she got. But of course, there's more to that story. I can't believe Odin and Freya were ever married. Love and hate are more closely intertwined than you might imagine. And we'll pick this up later. Brother, the chisel.
can't believe we're setting foot in Tears Vault. Another one of these. It's T. Go ahead. Actually, come look. Let me show you how to read this. That is not necessary. You've taught me so much. Let me teach you something. Atreus. Come on. You already speak it. Learning to read won't be that hard. I know how to read, boy. Just not this tongue. You're halfway there already, then. Okay. So the runes represent a lot of different things. Some gods. Some animals. Wait. Some... Oh, am I going too fast? Sorry, Not I'll... that. Do you smell something? Yeah, I do. Smells like... Rain? You ruined everything! I earned that fucking hammer! But now, everyone's gonna think I only got it. Cause Maggie's gone! Be a joke! Or if I kill you, no one's gonna laugh at me. Oh, are you dumb? That your father's doing? Or did you get it from your mum? She's stupid and ugly. Shut up! That's true, but I'm gonna get to know you really well. You're gonna be my new brother, right after I finish killing your father! Oh! Ah! Ah! Oops, I think I broke him. <laughs> You have to get into Freya quickly. There's no other way. Take the boat. Freya's isn't far. Odin's eye is on you, brother. Especially now that you've taken to killing his kin. Freya's forest is a blind spot for him. This is our smartest move. And if anyone can heal him, it's hard. What is happening to him? I've seen it in mortals that some conflict of the mind expresses itself as an ailment of the body. Never in a god. But a god believing himself mortal. I can only imagine. We're almost there.
just called the serpent. Shaking. It's serious. We must hurry. This is no ordinary illness. The boy's true nature, your true nature, fights within him. I did this to him. Will you help me? Of course. There is a rare ingredient found only in Helheim. The keeper that protects the Bridge of the Damned. I need its heart. Mm. Hell. The realm of the dead. Do you know it? Not this one. It is a land of unyielding gold. Fires cannot burn there, and no magic in all the nine realms can create a blaze. As for the dead, your frost axe will be useless. You'll need to find something else. Then I must return home. Up a past, I swore, would stay buried. Who you were before doesn't matter. This boy is not your past, he is your son, and he needs his father. This rune opens the bridge to Helheim. When you are there, do not under any circumstances cross the bridge of the damned. There is no road back. Understand? Mm. Uh. Boy. Hey, Malay. You must hurry. Through my garden, there's a path leading to my boat. Take it. Return home. Dig up your past. Do whatever you need to do. Just bring me back the bridge keeper's heart, and your son may survive. Now. Rhea. When last we spoke, I was... No. You were right to distrust the word of a god. No need to explain. Not to me, not for that. I will keep him safe. That's a mother's promise. Helheim of all places. You all right, brother? I will do what I must. Leave me be. As you wish.
Athena. Get out of my head.
There's nowhere you can hide, Spartan. Put as much distance between you and the truth as you want. It changes nothing. Pretend to be everything you are not. Teacher. Husband. Father. But there is one unavoidable truth you will never escape. <laughs> you cannot change. You will always be a monster. I know. But I am your monster no longer. Let's see what those blades can do. a door to the realm between realms over there, in your own front yard, no less. Take the shortcut back to the realm travel temple, then on to Helheim, yeah? Pretty sure you weren't talking to me back there. Anything you'd like to get off your chest, brother? I can assure you I'm unsurpassed in keeping confidences. Well, you know where to find me. And for the record, I'd already guessed you were Greek. Athena, dead giveaway. foreign magic. Sweet Nana's nethers. What are those? I've never seen the like. That's gotta be a family heirloom. No. Nor will it ever be. Son, my brother and me created me all near for the big idiot. I know from quality. And them? Them special. Hey, where's the little turd? He has fallen ill. No. What happened? Aesir? No. The fault is mine. And my responsibility to make it right. Well... We all gotta take responsibility sometime. Huh? 
Say, what can I do to help him? I can do things. When I should tag along? No. Your work here is enough. All right. So where are you off to in such a hurry? The realm of the dead. Hilheim? Shit, this... Now that Freya's given you the travel room to Helheim, it should be unlocked on the table. Let me take this moment to tell you that what you are about to do is absolutely insane. Not even Odin can survive this number. So, I hope those ways work. Is this the bridge Freya spoke of? No, we're still on the realm travel bridge. We're after the Bridge of the Damned. The dead use it to cross into their permanent home, the city of Helheim. The bridge keeper who minds admission, he's the one we want. Just follow this bridge, he'll lead us straight to him. I really hope never to see this place again. Use the fire of your blades to burn away that Hell's Bramble blocking the path. Many reasons we went back for those blades. And if the gates close, then it's true. Hell's full up. Without the Valkyrie to sort and cull them, hell is overwhelmed. Locked. Now what?
When we killed the Reavers near my home, they came here. How did they return so quickly? Time doesn't move the same between all realms, especially where the spirit world is concerned. Like the Light of Alfheim? The opposite, in fact. The Lake of Souls feels faster than Alfheim time, but Hell is much slower than Midgard. Sorry, I'm sure that's confusing. If we will be back to my son all the sooner, that is good. Ah, aren't you a quick study? Only the worthy dead go there, the warriors who die in glorious combat. Killing the bridge keeper help the dead leave Midgard. I don't expect it will, though I don't suppose it will make things any worse either. It'll be one less obstacle for the living to reach the inner sanctum of Helheim. Who'd be mad enough to go there? The Bridge of the Damned. And there's the Keeper, making sure the dead are really dead. What is that he holds? That totem contains a powerful source of magical energy, the very power of Helheim itself. You want is his heart. Just take it and we can leave. How? Start some trouble. You can do that, right?
now the heart, brother. You'll have to get your hands dirty. Set. Can't not to linger here, though, eh? Kratos. Zeus. Zeus? My father. Your father was Zeus? Well, that explains a lot. What is that place? Never go there. Understand? How is he here? That is not possible. It's just an illusion. Hell's known for torturing its inhabitants with their own past. We should focus on getting back to your son. You and I aim to. Come on. Oh, my equipment's in Midgard. Be right back. Yeah. You don't suppose he nicked those, do you? There. Now they're ready for the winds of hell. Just target this magical glowy bit here with your blades and throw. with your blades. See there? It's a little ball hanging in the <laughs> middle. See there? Oh! <laughs> 
Sorry, brother. I'm still stuck on what I heard back there. Zeus was your father? Not now. We should focus on getting out of hell. And with that, I cannot argue. I'll just contemplate that little nugget in silence, then. We shouldn't delay, brother. It's straight back to Midgard with that heart. Your father was Zeus? I finally understand! I'm dangling from the hip of the bloody ghost of Sparta! Do not call me that. Oh, don't mistake me, brother. From what I heard, the Pantheon had it coming. It's 
still a bit to take in. I knew you hate gods, but you really can't stay away from them, can you? You must say nothing to the boy. He must never know. Bollocks, brother. Respectfully, bollocks. He has to know. He'll never be whole without the truth. Look, I get it. You hate the gods. All gods. It's no accident that includes yourself. And it includes your boy. Can you see that? He feels that. He can't help what he is. He can't begin to help it because you haven't even told him. It's all connected, man. You will tell him nothing. Very well. So you know that shortcut between realms? Well, I made it better. Or I might have broke it. We use that. Now you can use it to travel to and from. There's an idea, brother. Might be some kinks to sort out, but you'll make it. Just go, brother. You gentlemen certainly know how to get around. Well, this isn't right. Ah, but close enough. He did say there were kinks. We must hurry. The heart. You have it. Yes. Back of your hand. I can break the fever, but to heal... He must know the truth of what he is. Yes. It is not so simple. Help me prop him up. Did I tell you that I have a son, too? It's been forever since I last saw him. At his birth, the runes foretold a needless death. The babe in my arms was so small, so helpless. I knew right then I would do anything to protect him, no matter the sacrifice. Of course, everything I did, I did for myself. I let my needs, my fears, come before what he needed. And I couldn't see his resentment until it was too late. Don't make the same mistake. Have faith in him. I know the truth isn't simple, but nothing is when it involves your child. It is a curse. The boy has been cursed. Don't leave without me. I will not. I'm better now. I see that. Is he well enough to travel? For now. They won't happen again. I promise. 
You see that it does not. Did you? Well, the window looks like Bifrost Crystal. And I know that's not what's on the other side of it. Sorry. Guess we're going. Now then, before Modi so rudely interrupted us, we were just about to explore Tyr's vault. Yes, to find the Black Rune. Boy, do you know the way from here? Oh, I don't know. Sure you do. Boat! I don't know. I guess we need a boat. Okay, then. Ah, see? The boat washed ashore. Someone did call a serpent earlier. Get in. I will pull. You are quiet. Are you not better? I guess. I know you overheard my talk with Freya. You think you understand, but you do not. Why do you say nothing? You said I was cursed. You think I'm weak because I'm not like you. I know I was never what you wanted. But after all this, I thought maybe things were different. You do not know everything, boy. No. But at least I know the truth now. The truth? The truth? I am a god, boy. From another land far from here. When I came to these shores, I chose to live as a man. But the truth is... I was born a god. And so were you. Boy. I had nothing to say. Um... Can I... Turn into an animal? Can you... Turn... Into an animal? No. No, I do not think so. I'm a god. Mother knew? She was a god too? No. She was mortal, but she knew my true nature. I'm a god. Why did you wait so long to tell me? Spare you. Being a god, it can be a lifetime of anguish and tragedy. That is the curse. Hmm. What sorts of things can I do? Can I fly? Or turn invisible? I don't feel like a god. I do not know the reach of your godhood. But over time, we will learn. You sure I can't turn into a wolf? 
You are welcome to surprise me. Is this why I hear voices sometimes? Are you sure you've never heard any? Not as you do. That's no surprise. Every god is unique. So, maybe I won't get strong like father, but I'll have abilities all my own? You already do, laddie. Your faculty for language is extraordinary for one so young. Time alone will tell what else you'll become capable of. So you knew all along? I did, lad. But I've known more than my share of gods. Me too, apparently. I wonder who else knew I was a god. Freya, for sure. Rock and Sindri? They do not need to know. Baldur! Does he know? Is that why he's after us? Do you know him from before? The day of your mother's funeral was the first I ever saw Baldur. That is the truth. Hey, you don't have to go right back to Tearsvall, do we? I mean, we're God. We can do whatever we want, right? What do you really feel like doing right now? I will show you. Let's try this again, without interruptions. Here we go again. The bull's answer. In plain sight. Says Earth. Read it. Death itself I swallow, to spring forth life tomorrow. Go. Yeah. I wish I'd known I was a god in Alphon. I wouldn't have felt so bad about killing so many elves. Well, I'm not sure that's the lesson. You've done nothing to regret. The elves forced their affairs upon us. No, I get it now. We had god things to do, and they were in the way, dragging us into their little problems. Again, are we just leaving that there? I mean, just knowing we're gods makes me feel so much stronger. Maybe you feel a little too good right now. With power comes a big choice, lad. You can either serve yourself, or put your godhood in the service of others, like Tyr did. People really loved him, huh? Aye. A god of war, but one who fought for peace. Had a reputation for being heroic and lawful, using his power and knowledge to stop wars rather than start them. So there are good gods. Once in a moon it's been known to happen, yes? This one mentions places I've never heard of. Seems Tyr really liked to travel. Tyr believed the mind, not might, was key to preventing war and chaos. And he also knew visiting other cultures would give him perspective staying in one place could not. While Odin always hoarded knowledge, guarding it jealously, Tyr was open and sharing with his learning and his wisdom. For this, mortals adored Tyr, showing their love by bringing him gifts the world over. So, whatever happened to Tyr? Odin came to regard him as a threat to his rule. He suspected Tyr of collaborating to aid the giants instead of helping to steal their secrets for the Aesir. Same thing he accused me of, frankly. Though in Tyr's case, I believe he was right. You think Tyr was helping the giants? I do. He felt responsible for the suffering visited upon them by Odin. I suspect he had something to do with helping them cover their tracks. The missing Jotunheim Tower. Correct. Whatever happened to it, I believe it could only have been done with Tyr and the Giants working together. Where is this back? I don't know. I've never been in here. The stone! That has to be it! Didn't think it would be that easy. 